I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about maca as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Maca is a Peruvian plant of the Brassica or mustard family and Lepidium genus. Its closest relative to other plants that we may be familiar with is rapeseed, mustard, turnip, cabbage, uh, garden cress, and watercress. Maca grows naturally and is cultivated above 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet in the Peruvian Andes. In a habitat of intense cold, intense sunlight, and strong winds. Maca has been used for well over 2,000 years in the Andes for nutrition and to enhance fertility in humans and animals. And it has gained popularity worldwide over the last few years as a nootropic supplement and for its medicinal properties. Traditionally, maca is harvested and dried naturally for long-term storage. The hard maca is then boiled in water to soften it and is often used by the natives as juice. Maca contains the amino acids leucine, arginine, phenylalanine, lysine, glycine, alanine, valine, isoleucine, glutamic acid, serine, aspartic acid, histidine, threonine, tyrosine, methionine, and proline. Maca also contains the minerals iron, calcium, copper, zinc, and potassium. And maca contains the metabolites macaridine, macine, and macamides and maca alkaloids that are only found in this plant. Maca comes in three primary colors, yellow, red, and black. The clinical studies have re revealed that each color of maca has a different concentration of metabolites, which likely explains the different biological properties described for maca. Well, first, maca boosts anandamide. The maca compound macamide is structurally similar to anandamide which is a neurotransmitter that binds to cannabinoid receptors in your brain. Anandamide is known as the bliss molecule, and its name comes from the Sanskrit ananda, meaning joy, bliss, or delight. Studies have also revealed that maca acts as a fatty acid amide hydrolyze inhibitor, or FAAH. FAAH is known to break down anandamide. Researchers think that Maca provides its pharmacological effects by prolonging the presence of anandamide in your brain and possibly binding to cannabinoid receptors, which may account for maca's ability to boost libido, regulate hormones, regulate metabolism, improve memory, and act as an antidepressant. And second, maca reduces anxiety and depression. Maca is well known for boosting libido, sexual function, and reducing anxiety and depression in both men and women. Studies show that maca does this without having a direct effect on hormones. Now, researchers at Victoria University in Australia conducted a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial with 29 postmenopausal women. The women were given 3.3 grams per day of maca, or a placebo, for a total of 12 weeks in this crossover trial. Blood samples for estradiol, follicle stimulating hormone, sex hormone binding globulin, thyroid stimulating hormone, full lipid profiles, glucose, and serum cytokines were collected at 6 and 12 weeks, as well as a test to assess the severity of menopausal symptoms. Now, no differences were found in serum concentrations of hormones from the baseline, but there was a significant reduction in scores for anxiety and depression. The study concluded that maca at 3.3 grams per day reduced anxiety and depression independent of hormone levels. Antidepressant activity has been shown with all three varieties of maca, yellow, red, and black. Now, research has not proven this yet, but I speculate that this antidepressant activity, including a boost in libido with maca, could be due to some of the amino acids it provides, including tyrosine and GABA, and its antioxidant activity in the brain. 
Maca has been used as a staple food source by the native Inca and pre-Inca of the central Peruvian Andes for thousands of years. The Inca first domesticated the plant over 2,000 years ago. And in 1553, Spanish conquistador Cieza de Leon recorded the first written description of maca use. Maca is rich in calcium, copper, vitamins B1, B2, vitamin C, iron, iodine, manganese, niacin, potassium, zinc, 20 different fatty acids, and 19 amino acids, and choline and GABA. Maca also contains macamidides and the alkaloid macaradine, which are unique to this plant. The Inca used maca to boost energy and endurance, treat sexual dysfunction in men and women, support the immune system, tame uh, menopausal symptoms, uh, menstrual issues, help memory and cognition, and even some cancers. The macamides in maca boost and endomide levels, which increases mood and feelings of happiness. Maca reduces hemoglobin, which contributes to chronic mountain sickness. Maca protects against oxidative stress and free radical damage from brain to brain cells. Maca improves libido, sperm count, and mobility, decreases anxiety and depression, it lowers elevated blood pressure, it increases energy levels and stamina, it reduces PMS symptoms, including an improved mood, it seems to boost cognitive function and memory, and it reduces an enlarged prostate. Maca truly lives up to its superfood label and may be considered an adaptogen. Maca has a unique smell that some find unpleasant, so if the smell offends you, I recommend doing what I do, which is make your own capsules, or hide your maca in a smoothie or juice. Supplementing with maca could increase your energy levels, but not with the same rush that you'd get from coffee or an energy drink. Instead, it feels more like you just woke up from a great night's sleep. Many find that their stamina is better and their performance in any sport gets a boost with maca. Some report using maca provides an increase in libido and a noticeable reduction in PMS symptoms. Younger neurohackers report less acne when using maca. They're, they're more productive and everything just seems easier. Older biohackers find that using maca provides the energy boost that they were looking for without any anxiety or jitters and no blood pressure issues. Now, if you are fortunate enough to live in a cold climate, maca may help you combat the winter blues. Your overall mood should be more upbeat and positive when using maca as an nootropic supplement. And using maca daily keeps you regular. Much of the research that has been promoted in the press has been done by a couple of supplement manufacturers attempting to promote maca as an aphrodisiac and testosterone booster. Now, while it's true that maca boosts libido in many people, it has no direct effect on hormones, including testosterone. The most trustworthy research has been done at Peruvian University but most of it is done with animals. Now, while it's useful, you should take a look at the studies over at Nootropics Expert closely and carefully learn how maca works in your brain and body. The bottom line will always be how well this nootropic supplement works for you. Now, in the main transcript for this video, I've got detailed clinical studies on how maca improves cognition. I've got another study on how maca improves mood. And I've got a, another study on how maca improves quality of life and how maca decreases antidepressant-induced sexual dysfunction. So these uh, clinical studies are worth checking out. Go to the original transcript of this, for this video on Nootropics Expert and see the clinical studies. Recommended dosage of maca for cognitive benefit is up to 5 grams per day. And, like most nootropics, more does not work better. Too much maca will upset your stomach. Maca is non-toxic and safe at recommended doses. Higher doses of maca can cause intestinal gas. Raw maca 
or maca that's not gelatinized contains high amounts of glucosinolates, which can cause problems if you have thyroid issues. For example, if you're hypothyroid. No drug interactions or contraindications have been reported with maca. Maca is available as a powder, capsules, flour, liquor, or extract. As a nootropic supplement, it's typically used in powder form, dissolved in water or a smoothie, or in capsule form. You might have to make your own capsules. In general, maca is available as dehydrated raw or dried powder or gelatinized maca powder. Maca is gelatinized by boiling and pressurizing the raw material to remove fiber and make it easier to digest. Maca is traditionally cooked by the Andean people, so gelatinized maca works best for nootropic benefit. You don't need pure raw maca. Ignore any advice that claims that raw maca is best. It's just not true. Maca is available in yellow, red, or black, and each provides unique benefits. Red maca has been shown to boost learning and memory, and all three types of maca provide antidepressant benefits. The purest maca comes from high in the Andes of Peru. And certified organic is a bit of an oxymoron, I think, because all maca grown in the Peruvian Andes is organic naturally. Nothing else grows up there. Beware that maca is also popular in China now, and some maca for export comes from that country, and it should be avoided. It's not the best quality. So my nootropics expert recommendation for maca is up to 5 grams per day. And that's my report on maca. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for maca, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using maca, use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.